Is this the episode? And okay, this is this is the whole one expectation things sometimes maybe getting in the way. Is this the episode I wanted? Probably not. Um, is it the episode I needed? Also, probably not. Uh, I think it's a it's a good episode. It's all right. I I just think it got a bit lost. I think it it got a it got a little lost. I think the you know obviously the Beatles coming at the end and, and sort of save the day pressing those notes right. Mm-hmm. But it's like they literally had to use audio cues from the one dialogue scene they had with them just to remind the audience of where a lot goes on. I think. Yeah, it, it's it's hard because I was watching it and I was like, why why isn't this quite clicking for me? Like about halfway through, I was like, I'm just not that into it mm-hmm. as much as I want to be. They talk about Susan, which fucking you tell me that's not coming back. They spent like two minutes talking about Susan. Yeah, that was really cool. Um, which was which was cool. And those moments where they slowed down, those moments where they went to future future Earth where or present day Earth where it was destroyed and stuff. That stuff was awesome. But but between that, I just felt like it, it there was times where it didn't find momentum. Once again we, we once again we have the Sonic doing a, a random thing that it can do. What was that? I'm I don't confused. know. And that's the thing, they didn't even explain it. It, it was just it just silenced everything, and then all of a sudden, Russell writes in a line where it's like, "Oh, but we can only use tricks on on these monsters yeah, that is once." Fine. It's like, and no, no, it's just like, once. It's like, okay, it, right. it's like, it's like you know that was a cheap way out, so now you're writing that we can't do it again. Uh, Jinx was great, absolutely. Um, she was great. I, mm, we got a lot of her towards the end. I, I still don't really know. Yeah. I, I, needed, I don't really get... I don't get it. I so, need it more. So it's the Toymaker's Legions. For an episode that had like a massive musical number at the end, had some great little musical bits throughout yeah. it. Yeah. It just felt kind of dull in parts. Yeah. And I, and I don't know why. I can't quite put my finger on it yet. What, is it kind of alluding to a bit of a team up with yeah, all of these... Avengers of... Almost, yeah, the Avengers of evil. Bad guys. Sure, but I feel like I kind of understood the Toymaker's motive i'm a bit confused with is 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 maestro just evil for evil sake because the toy maker is like addicted to the game and sticking to yes. the rules of the game and stuff whereas the maestro it's like i hate music it's yeah it's like what 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 no are music yeah and, and even like the doctor pulled up something about like what are the rules or something and i was like i don't know what yeah, the rules are i don't either hey, i need to have an understanding of why a character yeah. is why am i supposed to care yeah basically yeah unfortunately it did what i think what i feared was going to do it like i think it, it it relied way too much on the idea that everyone's just going to love the performance mm. and there's not really much if if that was if that was done by an actress who isn't like jinx monsoon people would be saying what the fuck was that shit yeah it's because Jinx is so flamboyant and uh and theatrical yeah yeah they're amazing that it worked yeah, I think if it was some dud, dud, I think it would have fucking stank. Maestro goes, "We're gonna have a, a music off." I, my eyes rolled so far ding, into the back bong, of my brain, ding, bong, and I bong, thought, bing, bing. "This is something we've seen in TV shows a million times before. We're it's gonna in. have a battle of the bands." Yeah, it's like, and and then it, I just don't think it was that exciting the way it was executed as well. I think if. It, as cheesy as it would be, mm-hmm. um, I think the idea of defeating Jinx through it's like music is what she hates mm-hmm. and wants to destroy, it, so they beat them with, with beat beat her with a song. Yeah, that's what I think would have been sick, but that didn't happen. No, it was just I mean they they did with like notes and melodies and stuff. What but the Beatles playing finishing the the lost. Chord? But yeah, that's the thing. I was like, what is this lost? Who was chord that, that little that- shit? The little kid. Little. <laughs> he was at the end. Remember? <laughs> he was. He's coming back. That motherfucker. Which is Ruby on the keys. So that's that's her theme, yeah? Ruby's theme. But then it's also kind of like it's technically Ruby's theme, but in law, it's kind of not, because she wrote it for her friend who got like backstabbed <laughs> by a by a girlfriend or something. I love how I love how Jinx is like the lesbian song. If she is gonna be like if she is gonna be crying like every episode, mm. I'm like it kind of takes away from the weight. Yeah, a but little it bit. It does, yeah. Because I feel like and I love I love the crying scene in Ruby Road. Yeah, I think it's amazing. Um, and I know some people complain about that they don't like an emotional doctor. That's not like me at all. I don't understand. So the doctors the doctors really scarred from the bi generation. I didn't get that. Fuck. I yeah. didn't get that vibe oh from. My. No, they um, were loving the bi generation. Yeah, mate. they I were. Didn't get that they were vibe. jumping around. Yeah, they were. And he was like, "We well, I only just survived." I was like, yeah. "You played fucking catch, mate." So what did you think of the? Uh, that's the thing, Ruby. You need to know we're traveling with me. 
There's always a twist at the end. Thoughts? Uh, it was, I think you had the opportunity to do it in narrative. Mm. And then instead they chose to do it that all of a sudden they were caught. There's, all of a sudden there's a musical number with rain and stuff in the hallways for no fucking reason. Yeah, that <laughs> and is it, interesting. And in the world of a musical, I mean, even then, like you wouldn't just get rain flowing, flowing down a hallway. There'd always be like a reason for it. It just, they just did it because they could. And it, it felt like, yeah, if you wanted to do it, you should have done it as part of the story and not this, this tacked on thing.